All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there toiling in this truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, Jim S. Dallas. Just coming back at you with another uh, a quick hit lesson, uh, real quick. Just going into the chariots again. You know, I just did a lesson uh, just a day, uh, about a day or so ago. Uh, how the lessons are going to, uh, Salaki, how the chariots are going to get busy, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, because that's why the, the, the sightings are off the, the, uh, the, the charts right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's, we're time, it's time for the chariots to return, man. Yahweh Shai's return is at hand. And I just have another one here. Uh, but a, in that video, I'm just going into proving uh, uh, the chariots, you know, basically were, were, were the clouds, the 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 uh, the horses, the uh, uh, you know, of course, the chariots, you know, the different the different things that they're they're uh, 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 whirlwinds that they're uh, known as throughout the scriptures, and just went into some scriptures, just kind of going into that and proving that point. In this particular chariot video, uh, I'm going into how they're watching man you know because they are the eyes of the lord man and they're watching you know so uh i got a quick uh uh little short uh video here that i'm gonna play real quick as you can see in the caption it says thousands of ufos which of course that's what esau has placed in the earth these people you know which stands for unidentified flying objects they also are called uh uaps unidentified era phenomenon you know and all of that is nonsense man they're ifos identify flying objects that are chariots of of, of uh yahweh bashim yahushai the chariots of israel uh the salvation of, of the israelites which are the so-called negroes latino native americans and Seminole indians of negro descent you make up the chosen no longer uh, uh, lost tribes of the nation of israel because we know who we are now man you know and uh uh it says thousands of UFOs leaving Earth before the sun comes out. You know what I'm saying? And this, as if you read in the lower part down there at the at the bottom, you know, at at strange creator, I guess is what that's supposed to be. Uh, it says, what could it possibly be? Question mark. FYP for you. FYP for for you. For you, page UFO alien space NASA disclosure. Interesting mystery strange earth which you know of course these are, are are the people outside of this knowledge man you know what i'm saying this knowledge isn't given to everybody everybody has doesn't have the understanding the eye salve the discernment you know the knowledge wisdom and understanding of, of of the bible to know what these things actually are what they mean you know what they what you know so uh these things weren't given to everybody so it's not strange you know what i'm saying it's not it's no longer a mystery to, to the elect, you know, those the hopeful elect, you know, uh, very interesting, you know, uh, uh, it's, uh, they're not UFOs, they're not aliens, you know what I'm saying, they're the chariots, and they contain the angels, man, but they're watching, so I want to, I want to, uh, uh, I want to play this quick clip, and then we're going to get into some scriptures, man, you know. And that's it. It's real quick. Uh, but as you can see, you saw all of those chariots, all of those angels, those orbs, those spirits leaving the planet Earth, man. You know what I'm saying? And that, and <laughs> I'm going to play that one more time. What, just pay attention to this. Salakia. Uh, Salakia. Look at that, man. Discovery also moving into sunrise. Coming out of the earth, man. Above 
So, with that, let's get into the scriptures because, because the uh, the angels have a function and a job to perform, man. You know, they 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 put vibrations in the earth. You know what I'm saying? They work on the minds of 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 of, uh, of these men, of these uh, uh, leaders. You know, these kings, as the Bible refers to them as. You know what I'm saying? And uh. You know, work on the minds of these uh, of these leaders, man, to to fulfill the will uh, of the Lord, man. The prophecies written, man. You know what I'm saying? So they have a function. You know, they also watch and, and report back to the Lord, man. And, and and they were leaving the earth, heading back into the fourth realm, the fourth uh, the fourth dimension, so like you. And uh, where where you how Bashim is, man. You know what I'm saying? You have three realms. You know, the realm here on earth, which is your first realm or, or your first heaven. Then you have the second realm or the second heaven, which is what we, which is known, which is known as outer space. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, right outside the 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 uh, the firmament or the ozone uh, layer, as it's known as today. You know, where they have they, their space stations and satellites, which is your second heaven, your second realm of heaven. You know, and then you have your third realm further out, where the moon. And Mars and all, all the things that he wishes he could get to that he can't because of the Van Allen belt. And then further out into the further reaches in the, in, into, in the fourth dimension is where the Lord, uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and the angels are, man. You know, and the spirits dwell. You know what I'm saying? So the further, the, the further reaches of heaven, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you know, but they were heading out of the earth into what's known as space but they were heading into the fourth dimension to report back to the lord everything that's been going on down here in the earth man because they moved throughout the earth watching man you know and and and, and doing the will of the lord in the earth man you know working on the minds of these leaders as i said you know and, and all of it putting setting vibrations in the earth you know all these different things that are happening volcanoes going off the chariots are there man thunderstorms with with lightning strikes the chariots are there man you know what i'm saying Riots and ruckuses, the chariots, those different vibrations and different things that they're doing in the earth are responsible, man, you know, because they have a job and function. But I want to get into this real quick, you know, because th those are the eyes of the Lord, man, and they're watching, man. So the first scripture I want to bring out is, is Amos, the ninth chapter, you know, a common verse we always uh, 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 go to to prove these things. It's Amos chapter, uh, Amos chapter nine and verse eight. Behold, which means look, the eyes of the Lord Power, Yahweh Bashim Shai power are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said Yahweh Bashim Shai. And, oh, and, and we know uh, uh, originally that uh, 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 this was, was, was talking about dealing with the nation of Israel, man. You know, they, they are that sinful kingdom, which the, the eyes of the Lord were upon, which they are still that sinful kingdom. That the uh, eyes of the Lord are upon two thirds of the nation of Israel, pursuant to Zechariah 13 and 8, are going to be cut off and die, man. You know what I'm saying? So the eyes of the Lord are still upon the sinful kingdom. But now in these days and times, it's also referring to this uh, uh, Edomite kingdom, this this, this sinful kingdom, that because the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. Job 9:24, man. You know what I'm saying? So the eyes are upon this place, and all this devil has done since he's been in reign, rulership, power. You know what I'm saying? Had control of the earth, you know, in this society, this setup, his kingdom, his reign, his rulership, is has been nothing but wickedness, iniquity, sin, you know. Everything contrary to thus said the Lord, this dude is about, which he was created for that purpose, you know what I'm saying? He's just doing his job, you know what I'm saying? This is the Lord's movie. He set him up that way. He's the bad guy in the movie, you know. There's a good guy and there's a bad guy. You know, Esau is the bad guy. Jacob is the good guy. Come on, man. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And this devil, if there was a, an award to be given out uh, for, for, for best performance as a devil, this nigga would win it, man. He would win best performance, man. This dude has done his job perfectly, man. You know, which the Lord doesn't make mistakes. So we get it, you know what I'm saying? But Amos 9 and 8, Behold, the, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, power, are upon the sinful kingdom. So this, the eyes of the Lord, which are the chariots, the angels, you know, the chariots are the vehicles of the angels, you know? And I went into these things in, 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 in the lesson that I did, uh, uh, going into how the chariots were going to uh, uh, 
get busy soon. You know what I'm saying? But the eyes of the Lord are the chariots, man. The vehicles of the angels. And as you saw in that video, they were coming out of the earth, man. Doing what? What we're reading here. The eyes of the Lord are upon the simple kingdom. They're watching, man. And they're reporting back to the Lord the things that are going on down here. You know? Uh, just like during the time of, 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 of the Tower of Babel, when the, uh, when the angels were like, let's go down. You know what I'm saying? They, they came down to see what was going on, man. And, 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 you know, of course, reporting things back to the Lord, you know, the Lord didn't like what was going on down here, man. So he confounded the languages since and, dis, and uh, separated everything, man. You know, so they're still uh, doing what they do, man. Their function, their purpose, their 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 job, man, in the, in the earth, man. You know, and it says. Uh, saving. So like you behold. The eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahshai power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So, hey man, the Lord is about to destroy this place, man. He's going to destroy Esau's wicked kingdom, and he's going to destroy two thirds of the nation of Israel, man, which is the is that wicked kingdom as well, off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh Shem Yahshai, which is the remnant, the elect, you know what I'm saying, which was part is prophesied outside to return in these times, man, which is happening, you know what I'm saying. So let's keep it going, man. I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures, just, just making a point, you know, that the, the, the angels are watching, man. Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai are in every place beholding the evil and the good, man. So the angels, which are the eyes of the Lord, you know, the chariots, what, what this place deems UFOs or U, UAPs, are the eyes of the Lord, and they are in every place. You just saw that in the video, man. All of them spirits, them angels, those, those chariots coming out of the earth all over the uh, uh the globe man you know coming out of the earth so they are in every place beholding the evil and the good so no matter what you're doing you know if you're doing evil and wickedness you know sinning iniquity you know they they see it man and they're they're reporting to the lord if you're doing good you know being a part if you're part of the, the elect of course that's the good you know what i'm saying you're out here teaching you know studying uh, uh watching videos reading you know what i'm saying teaching this word you know, learning, believing, having that faith in the true gospel, then the, the angels over it, they see that and they're reporting it to the Lord. You know, they see it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why the 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 the, the chariots are always those sightings and, and things are always they're always around the men of the great millstone, GMS, man. You know, nor the camps, you know, are even talking about or do lessons on or, or into the chariots like that, man. It's only great millstone, man. You know, GMS, man, and that's where the chariots are, man. That's where they dwell, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, because the, the, the Lord is, is dwelling with the great millstone, man. You know, if you can receive it, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. If you can, it's all good, man. We, we're going to keep moving, man. You know what I'm saying? This is 2 Chronicles chapter 16 in verse 9. And it reads, for the eyes of Yahweh the eyes of Yahweh Shai run to and fro throughout the whole earth, man. And really, that's the point that I want in this, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of the scriptures, the rest of the verse, to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him, which that's talking about the elect. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. But the point I really want, wanted was that first part, you know, Second Chronicles 16 and 9. For the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai run to and fro throughout the whole earth, man. You know what I'm saying? And, we, and, and of course, that video again, which I'll probably show it one more time, you know, before I get out of here, just show it one more time, just to, you know, that final impact, you know what I'm saying, of, of the scriptures that I'm bringing out, man. They run throughout the whole earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Performing their duties, man. Everything that the Lord have them set up to do, they do, man. Because they do the will of the Lord, man. The scriptures go into that, man. You know, how they how they do the will of the Lord, man. What's I believe that Psalms 103 and like verse 20, 21, somewhere in there. 103 and 20, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm, if I, I'm pretty uh, sure that it's Psalms 103 and, and verse 20. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, yeah, they did their, they, they, they run to and fro throughout the whole entire planet Earth, man, you know, performing their jobs, their their function, man, you know what I'm saying, everything has its function, man, we're created for, for its purpose, man, this is Job chapter 34, 
in verse 21 and it reads for his eyes are upon the ways of men of men and he seeth all his goings so the eyes the angels those vehicles was was known to be so-called ufos uaps are upon the ways of man and they see all his going so they see everything you're doing whether righteous whether wicked man you know what i'm saying so be careful you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying because they see you man you know verse 22 there is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves so you cannot hide you will not get away man they see you you know what i'm saying and, and, and anybody that knows anything for the most part when when wickedness or evil a wicked thing is going to be done it's done in the dark it's done at nighttime you know when people think that you can't see them you know somewhere where 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 a shadow you know what i'm saying they think they're in the darkness man you know and uh uh you know it says there is no darkness nor shadow of death the the shadow of death is not you, they, they, you can't run man there is nowhere you can run there's nowhere you can hide death can't save you you know what I'm saying? The Lord knows and he sees you. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to pay for these things. You got those workers of iniquity. You can't hide yourself. The Lord is going to get you, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, because the, the, the scriptures say that the uh, eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, which I'll, I'm going to bring that out. You know what I'm saying? But I want to go to Proverbs, the fifth chapter. And verse 21 and it reads for the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord and he pondereth all his goings man so your ways are, are hey man the angels see you the vehicles you know all these are just gonna re kind of reiterate the the, the, the the same fact man you know what I'm saying that they're they basically break themselves down you know what I'm saying so that's not hard to understand for the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord the chariots the angels What's known as UFOs, UAPs, man, you know, your ways are before them and they see you and they report back to the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? All your goings, all your doings, you know, that's your goings, your doings. The thing you're doing is your goings, man. So everything you're doing, those things are a way, uh, uh, are, uh, uh, are uh, before the eyes of the, uh, of the Lord, man, which are the angels, man. You know what I'm saying? And they report those things back to the Lord, man. You know, this is Jeremiah chapter 16. In verse 17, for mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes, man. This is going to Esau, man. You know, all the ways and uh, also two thirds of, of the nation of Israel, man. You know, the wickedness, the, the iniquity, your, your, your evil doings are before the face of the Lord, man. You know, it says for mine eyes are upon all, your, all their ways, man. So everything you're doing, man, don't, don't think, you know, and a lot of times, you know, Jake, you know, and these devils too, man. You know, these devils think they're doing things in, in, in secret, man. You know, they're, they're deceiving themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord sees these devils, man. You know what I'm saying? And they're doing according to his will anyway at the end of the day, man. You know, they think they're plotting and scheming when they're just doing, uh, uh, they're, they're within the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the scheme and plans of the Lord, man. You know, within this movie, man. Anyway, you know, so they're deceived, you know. The, the, the pride, man, you know, the pride of thine heart had deceived thee, you know, them, those that dwell in the clefts of the rocks, man, roughly paraphrasing, you know, it's talking about these Edomites, man, but same thing with, with two thirds of Jake, man, the eyes of the Lord for my, mine eyes are upon all their ways, man, he sees you, man, they are not hid from my face because you saw all those chariots coming out the, out the earth, man, you know what I'm saying, how are you going to hide, man, they're everywhere, they're literally everywhere. Neither is there iniquity here for mine eyes. Exactly, man. The Lord sees every single thing that you are doing, that you think you're hiding. He sees you, man. You know? So let's go, let's, let's go over to, jump over to Jeremiah 23. And verse 24. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Rhetorical question, because the answer is no. <laughs> Saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, do not I feel heaven and earth? Saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, yes, he does. You saw that the earth is filled with the angels, man. 
you know, and I'm like, again, I'll show the video again at the end of this lesson, man, just to leave you with that point. You know, all of these scriptures, man. Hey, they see you. The Lord's eyes are everywhere, man. The chariots are everywhere. You know, it is what it is, man. You know, he sees you. This is Jeremiah chapter 32. And verse 19. And it reads, great in counsel and mighty in work. For thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give everyone according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, man. You know, that counsel, great is the counsel, this, this truth, this knowledge, man. And mighty in work. You know what I'm saying? For thine eyes, the angels, the chariots, are, are open upon all the ways of the sons of men. All those that's dwelling down here in the, in the earth to give everyone according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, man. So again, it's just constantly reiterating and repeating that your ways, your doings, man, your goings, every, what you're doing down here, you are being seen, man. No matter whether righteous or wicked, man, you know, the eyes of the Lord are upon you and they see you, man, you know. This is Hebrews chapter 4. In verse 13, and it reads, neither is there any creature, that's the creation, that is not manifest in his sight. So nobody is out of the sight of the Lord. You cannot hide from him, man. <laughs> Get that through, the, through your thick skull, man. You can't hide. No creature, that's all creation, that is not there. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do, which is the Lord, man. You know, the angels see you, man. You know, it's a beautiful thing, man. Let's go to the uh, uh, apocryphal real, real quick. And I'm going to get this in uh, Sirach 29 and verse 19. And it reads, this is a, a Sirach. Is that what I wanted? Salakia. That's not what I wanted. Salakia. 23. This uh, Ecclesiastical Sirach 23 in, in verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. That's the majority of these people out here with no knowledge, man. You know? two-third of the uh, of the nation of Israel, man. They don't fear the Lord. They fear Esau, you know, the next person that sees them. Oh, we might get caught, you know. You better worry about the, the one, uh, uh, the heavenly father, man. Su such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Yeah, nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. No shadow of darkness, you know, no, no, no darkness, no shadow of death, nowhere, nothing you can run to, nowhere to hide, man. The, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, you know, and, and that makes perfect sense when from that video that we just saw. You know what I'm saying? Perfect sense, man. Let me get one more, one more real quick. Uh, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, and I'm going to start at verse 61, and I'm going to read a few verses and uh, it's it's a, a second chapter 16 and uh, 61 he made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath life and understanding you know so again the creator man he made man and put his heart in the midst of of of, of the body man you know he gave him breath which you know ultimately of course, this breath is talking about breathing. You know, you breathe, but ultimately, and but this that breath also represents that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that he gave to his his uh, elect, man. You know, it says bright breath, life, and understanding. Yeah, and the spirit of of Almighty Power, which made all things and searched out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. And how does that happen? By way of his the eyes, those angels. They see, they they hear, they know everything. They know your thoughts. So be careful how you think. They know everything, man. All those little secret places that you think are secret, they're not secret, man. 
Verse 63, surely he knoweth your inventions and what you and what ye think in your hearts, which is your mind, even them that sin and would hide their sin. He already knows, man. So you are not you're not hiding, man. You know? Therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. And, the, and that's really going into these Edomites for the, for ultimately. You know what I'm saying? All the wickedness and the works, you know, you know, at their wicked hands, you know. They're going to be put to shame. They're already, it's already happening, man. Right now, this devil is being exposed, man. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 47. You know, he's lifting up the skirt. You know, he's exposing these devils, man. You know, the, the earth is helping the woman. You know, Revelations 12. You know what I'm saying? So this devil is being, being exposed, man. So, so his shame is showing, man. You know, his shame is showing. Verse 65, and when your, when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed, which he's ashamed. Those sins are being brought forth, as we speak, before men, and your own sins shall be your, your accuser in that day. And that's exactly, we're in those times now, man. You know, these times are accusing these devils like a mother, you know the word, you know. They're accusing this nigga like, a, like hey, man. <laughs> so his, his, his sins are accusing him right now man and his shame is showing man you know what i'm saying you know these these edomites are ashamed to be edomites in these times man you know what i'm saying every everything is coming out you know they thought they was some glorious nation and they're coming to find out they ain't shit man you know it just is what it is uh, uh verse 66 what will ye do or how will ye hide your sins before the most high and his angels that's really the point that i wanted which i'm gonna read the next verse but th that's really the point what will ye do or how will ye hide your sins before the Most High and his angels? Exactly. You know, you saw all those angels coming out the earth. There's no way to hide from that, man. You know, there's no crack or crevice you can crawl into. You know, you can try to jump around and crawl and scratch and roll around. And do, you, Hey, man, there's nowhere you can hide, man. There's no crack or crevice you can hide, man. You know, they're seeing everything, you know. Verse 67, behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. So fear the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is to the elect, man, because we know every everything else is through. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. Which the elect is going to do that, man. You know, we're striving to do those things in these times. So shall the Most High lead you lead you forth. So the Lord Most High is going to guide you. The most, And I love my favorite saying in these times, you know. I've, I say it a lot now. You know, the Lord, got, he's got us, man. He's with us. You know what I'm saying? You know, and deliver you from all trouble. I'm going to read that one more time. Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. He sees everything, his chariots, his angels. You read that in the previous verse and all these other scriptures I bought out, man. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. Let that go, man. You know, let all the wickedness and iniquity, the sin, let all that, the evil doings before the Most High's eyes, let that go, man. You know what I'm saying? So shall the Most High lead you forth. So the Lord is going to be with you, man. You know, the angel of the Lord encamped around them that fear him and delivereth them. You know, keeps them safe, man, and deliver you from all trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7, and he shall be saved out of it. That great day that's coming, man. Jacob's trouble is upon us, man. You know, but it says all trouble, man. That's a beautiful thought. You know, wow. It's like all trouble. So that no matter what uh, uh, presents itself, you know, what manner of trouble presents itself, you're going to be delivered from that, man. You know, that's a beautiful thought, man. You know, and deliver you from all trouble. Not partial trouble, not trouble sometime, some of the trouble. He said all trouble, man, you know. And the Lord says his word does not come back to him void, man. But it's going to accomplish the thing where to he sends it, man. It's going to do his pleasure, man. So these things are written. So do you believe, you know? That's it at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? But, at the, you know, this, hey, those chairs of sin, they're watching, man. You know what I'm saying? They see everything. So before I get out of here... Let's play it one more time. Let's play it back one more time and we'll end it. That's a beautiful sight, man. 
How you going how you gonna hide from, from all that, man? How you gonna hide from that? It's not possible. Giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Wa'ukakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath Shah Dawadad. Shalom.